Then let's see what's happening with our training today. Today we have a run session. It's a short effort. You can see it on your training peaks calendar. Then we need to make sure that our watch is synced with um, training peaks. Then for that, you can go to the app and device in your setting, manage your connection, and you make sure that uh, your watch, your Garmin Connect account is connected with your Training Peaks account. Normally it is when you uh, subscribe to Training Peaks the first time, the program will ask you to do it. Then now let's see what's happening on your Garmin Connect account. Then if you go to your calendar, you can see there is the short effort session there. It's on a good day. Then if it's there, that means that it's also in your watch, in your GPS device. Then now you are ready to go running. We have our watch ready to go. We're clicking on the start button and the watch should tell you uh, different options. You can, we can see that today we have some short efforts to do. We can do, do the workout of the day. We can view the workout or we can skip it if we decide to do another type of run. Then if I decide to view it, I can see all the different uh, section of my training and telling me also the pace. If you are not into this uh, pace range, then the watch will vibrate. They will let you know. And you can see the different section of the training with the rest. And that will be, um, that will vibrate every time you're changing the section. And basically, instead of writing down your session on the back of your hand, you can have everything in your Garmin watch. Then if you want to start the workout, then you just click on do the workout. Start the timer to begin workout. And here we go. We're starting with a warm up, 429 to 507. That's the pace I have to run. And here I have the count countdown telling me I still have uh, I still have 14 minutes 49 to go into my warm up. I hope you're gonna start using your device in a good way. If you have any question, please contact us.